Hi, I'm going to show you some easy workouts that will help you stay in tip-top shape for bikini weather. Alright, let's go. Before Alana Rose was sitting on top of the adult film world and became the most searched for name on adult websites. Oh, you're the number one porn star in the world right now. No, Riley. Well, like, no, that's, but you're that's like... That's just on Pornhub, but Riley, technically, I think I was most searched, but Riley has the most views. Before Alana Rose retired from the adult film industry in 2018 and started dating a YouTuber named Mike Malak. Oh, that's so sweet. Hi. Holy <laughs> shit. Holy <laughs> shit. Hey, say hi. Hi, what's up? What's oh my up? god. What's up? How are you? Thank you so much. Who, by the way, cheated on her? If you're in shock, join the club. Who would cheat on Lana Rhodes? Well, apparently he would, but they got back together and then he left her. I know, this video is getting good and it hasn't even started yet. For those of you who decided to click on this video, I suppose Lana Rhodes is a woman who needs very little introduction, but even for the most loyal fans of this woman, I think that we found some information and older clips that even you probably haven't seen yet. Hi, my name is Lana Rhodes. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Get ready because I promise this video is going to be very juicy. What's up guys? My name is Azalea Hart and this is Before They Were Famous. Today I'm documenting the life and career of Lana Rhodes prior to fame. And I know many of you are excited, but let me warn you that this will be family friendly because otherwise YouTube wouldn't monetize it. Why am I so sad? Anyways, it's still going to be a great video. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Azalea Zoe to let me know who you want to see in the next video. Follow us on Instagram also at Before They Were Famous. Let's get into the video. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Lana Rhodes' real name is Amara Maple, and she was born on September 6, 1996 on the outskirts of Chicago, specifically in McHenry, Illinois. She is of Czech and or Slovenian descent. In one of her first interviews, Amara stated that her parents were much older than most and that they're pretty religious. Lana was always interested in the world of entertainment. She created her first YouTube channel at the age of 13, where she posted an exercise video. She also begged her parents to enroll her in beauty pageants and acting classes, and she did that until she was about 16 years old. In another interview, she went into detail about her firsts, and she said this. I grew up around many cornfields. I was a country girl. I was a tomboy growing up. I was very good at school, actually, and I graduated from high school. I loved sports, I was in gymnastics, and I was a cheerleader all through school. Um, I like to work out. I grew up doing like gymnastics and cheerleading. Um, you know, but nowadays, I, I don't really do anything, you know. I, I eat food, I work out, I play with my dog, like, it's pretty boring. But Lana has a dark past, folks, and no, I'm not talking about her adult videos because that's not even dark. After high school, Lana started hanging out with people who weren't the best influences on her. And so I found like these other people that were just really accepting of everyone. And it was these hippies, but they were actually like criminals. They weren't real hippies. <laughs> <That was true. laughs> these criminal minds made her do different things in order to get money, like becoming a stripper and breaking and entering to rob houses. And for those reasons, Lana spent some time in jail. So I went to prison for like a year from like 16 to 17. Or like almost 18, actually. Now we can assume that it was after Lana got out of jail that she moved to the windy city of Chicago and started working at the Tilted Kilt. I think this place is pretty much like Hooters, but instead of being a sports bar, it's a Scottish pub. And of course the waitresses are hot and wear kilts instead of skates and booty shorts. And it was there at the Tilted Kilt that Lana would meet her first boyfriend. She thought this relationship was it for her. I'm talking true, unconditional love like no other because she got this guy's name tattooed on her. Do you want to know where she got it tattooed? On her butt. So so she has the name John on her butt. But I mean, they did get married, so maybe she wasn't wrong at the time. I was 18, um, we were only dating for a month. Lana! And I wanted to get a tattoo. I was like, your let name. me get your name on my ass. And it turned out to be good luck. Like, we were together for a long ass time, right. got married, like, I don't regret it. But let me tell you something, he was no Prince Charming. Yeah. Can you like film me? Because they want to see me and not you. Cut it off so we can go get some. 
Yeah, I want them to see me order my food. No, we're not filming me now. You're just filming. No, it's stupid. Turn it off. No, you're so shy. No, turn it off. So we're not shy. doing this. In her spare time, she watched The Girls Next Door and was obsessed with the life that Hugh Hefner's girlfriends had. She told AVN, I always wanted to be in Playboy, but these glamorous modeling and magazine days aren't that big or important. So you have to go all the way now, which I'm fine with, because I've always been a very sexual person. But if you follow Lana on Instagram, and I'm sure you do, you know that she has recently been working on her own Playboy cover photos. So I guess technically she can cross that off her bucket list now. But in the past, Lana also said, I tried to go to college, but I was only going to make my boyfriend and my mom happy because they wanted me to be normal, I guess. But I was feeling depressed and daydreaming about what I really wanted to do. Growing up, I read Playboy and saw Anna Nicole Smith and Jenna Jameson and thought they were glamorous and beautiful. So I wanted to do that too, and I ended up doing it. She went from working at the Tilted Kilt to working at a strip club. She loved to dance on stage and quickly became one of the leading acts. But during this time, she was also studying to become an aesthetic nurse. And I worked as an exotic dancer. Um, I was going to school for cosmetic nursing. What is cosmetic nursing? Um, so basically, I want to go into like doing Botox and like lip fillers and gotcha. like all of that. And now I don't have any, regardless of what some people say. My face is all natural. Eventually, Lana would take some photos for a company known as FTV Girls, which led to her rise in the world of adult film. In that time, her parents would discover that she was a stripper, but in her first interview, she was hoping that they would not find out about her career. In fact, she even said things like this. My parents are older and a lot of my friends don't know them, so I don't think they know. Well, surprise, surprise, Lana, but I have a feeling that her parents already knew about what their daughter was doing in the big city. Anyways, after this, Lana decided to move to LA. But as many people do, they have started looking for an agent first, and that's where she found Mark Spiegler from Spiegler Girls, sent him some pictures, and Mark sent her a plane ticket to LA. It would be with him that she found her show name. When Lana entered the adult film industry, she was still with her ex-husband, John. They of course divorced, that's why I said X, but the reasons for it are unclear. I think Lana is better off without him though, and like I said, he was no Prince Charming. As soon as Lana entered the industry, she got the hang of it very quickly. On her IMDb page, it says that she appeared in a dozen movies in 2016, almost 30 in 2017, and up to 25 in 2018 before announcing that she was retiring. So the reason why I don't do it is I just didn't really like... Um, the way that I was treated in the industry just by my peers and um, you know everyone else I sort of felt bullied by them and I just wasn't treated the way that I deserved to be treated so I was just kind of like you guys, I'm gonna go do my own thing and it's turned out way better for me. Now Lana is not joking when she says that being independent has been much more beneficial for her. Her Instagram has more than 13 million followers, her YouTube channel is about to hit a million, and she has a cooking podcast called Three Girls, One Kitchen. Uh, no pun intended. She also has a fashion line that does clothing and accessories called Not For Boomers. She also sells male products to improve sexual performance called Male Solutions. And she also has an OnlyFans account. And you know these girls are making bank on those OnlyFans accounts. It seems this woman never stops working and I think her old job is the one that has created all these new opportunities for her to do whatever she wants to do at this point. Currently though, it seems that she's still in a relationship with Mike Malak, Logan Paul's best friend. I know what you're thinking, is it the same dude who was unfaithful and left her? Yeah, it's him. But I think that could be a story for another video. If that's something you would like to see, leave some heart emojis in the comment section below. And if there are enough, I will spill the tea for y'all. But this video is ending here because after all, this is before they were famous. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and feel free to follow me too, at Azalea Zoe, and I'll see you in the next video. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here. So click on that if you wanna see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications. And I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!